How's it going guys, Sharblox here. So it's been a while since I've made a video guide showing you guys how to get 40% Robux of certain items. And now what I basically mean by this is if you use this special Robux script inside of your own Robux game, you can save Robux every time you purchase something. And yeah, you really do save 40%. I'm sure many of you guys probably already know about this. I have made several videos on this topic in the past, you know, showing you guys this Robux saving method. However, it's about time I do an update version. So just to recap you guys on the latest script, I want to show you what it works with. It currently works on accessories, bundles, gears, animations, literally all types of stuff. There's so many items on the avatar shop right now that you can actually get Robux back on. Maybe some of you knew that, maybe some of you didn't. If you can remember to do this on every single Robux item you buy, you would honestly get so much Robux back. However guys, this doesn't work on everything. It doesn't work on game passes or limited which I know is a little bit disappointing. I have heard though that you can get it working on game passes, it's just a different script and the method is kind of annoying and a little bit time consuming. I will probably have to make a separate video on the game pass trick. Anyway, for today, let's just focus on the updated 40% script. In one of my previous videos, I used something called the old account method and that one was okay. And to be fair, my older video does still work. However, it wasn't very convenient. Let me show you. If you really, really want to use the alt account method. I mean, you can, nobody's stopping you. But how it worked right is you'd get your alt account. Obviously that one's got no Robux on, but that one does own the script game. Then you would get your main Roblox account with the Robux. And basically how it works guys is you would log into your main account. You would go onto your alt account script game. You would then buy something and spend Robux. Then your alt account would actually get the refunded Robux. So that's basically how it works. You would get refunded Robux. It would just go onto your alt account. And if you wanted to transfer it, it, you'd have to buy a t-shirt or something, you'd lose a little bit of Robux in the t-shirt fee, because what was it? Robux take like 30% if you sell a t-shirt or something? Yeah, it was a bit annoying. And that's why today I want to show you guys the group method. Honestly, it's so much better and easier than the alt account method. It's more simple, it's easier to explain, and what's even better is you will end up saving a lot more Robux by dodging transfer fees, because like I said, Robux take like 30% when you try and sell something, and I mean group payouts are free, right? So yeah, doing this clever trick on groups is so much better. So let's get started on my James5 Roblox account by making a fresh group. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go over and click on groups. You could already go to a group you're already in and it will bring you to the same page. But yeah, you want to click on create group. Then it's going to bring you to this page. You guys want to choose a group name, a group description, and also a profile picture. I'm back. I've got my name. I've got my description. And I also have my emblem. You must enable all three if you want your group to work. Then you can do manual approval if you want to and it costs 100 Robux. Now to be honest, if you're watching this video, you clearly have Robux to spend anyway. So doing this will save you Robux. So it's definitely worth it. If you already own a group, then yeah, you're good to go. You don't even need to make one. I'm literally making a new one so I can show you guys what to do from scratch. But yeah, let's go and click on 100 Robux. Let's go and purchase a brand new group and yeah, we should be good to go. Oh wait, I forgot. Roblox moderation sucks. One second. Wow, Roblox moderation is so bad I couldn't even put Sharkblox videos in the title. I had to call it Sharkblox Roblox but that's all good, who cares. So guys, once you've got your own group, you're the owner and yeah that's basically it. What you guys want to do is actually go to the create tab at the top. Now from here guys, you want to click on group creation. So you then want to change it to the group you just made or a group you already own. Like I said, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to do my Sharkblox Roblox group and under experiences, we're going to click on create new experience. Then we are going to click on on open Roblox. Now it's going to open Roblox Studio. If you're not on PC and you're trying to do this on mobile, I'm pretty sure you can't. I probably should have said that at the start of the video, but oh well, yeah, this only really works on PC. You could always borrow your mum's computer or something. I don't know. But yes, on Roblox Studio, choose anything you want. I'm going to go with base plate because it keeps it simple. And yeah, wait for everything to load. And that's basically it. You guys want to go to file at the top. You want to go on publish to Roblox. You can call it 40% of for whatever you want. I'm just going to call it 40. Creator, you want to change that to your group. So for me, it's Sharkblox Roblox. And yeah, that's basically it. You can now click on create. It's going to load the place, create it for you. And that's basically it for creating the game under your group. Now you can actually close out of Roblox Studio. Basically, guys, if you refresh the page here and you're still on your group, it should now say you own an experience. And yep, that's exactly what we wanted. So now it's time to get the script model. This is the in-game item buyer, 40% discount. 
out and it's had a good UI update so that's very nice. Made by Windows 10 Pro. This wasn't made by the same guy in my previous video but this script is the updated version and it's very well made. It's free so let's go and buy a copy of it. Purchase complete. We now own it. Now honestly guys I would recommend reading the description of this item. It literally tells you everything like do you need a group? Yeah you can do it on a group or you can make an alt. Like I said guys groups better. Doesn't work with game passes. Sadly doesn't. Like I said there is a different script that does. I might have to do another video on that one. Does it work with animations? Yes it does. It's not fake. The original guy. Oh yeah I remember him. This one's made by Windows 10 though. It was inspired by him. So shout out to the original guy. It's not a scam. How to use it. Insert it into your game. Let me go and show you guys how to do that right now. So back onto the create page. Group creations. Select your group. Find your game. And so this time guys we're going to click on edit. Oh and mine didn't work. What the heck? Come on Roblox. What's going on? Yeah it seems to be working fine now. It's opening the place and everything. How strange is that? I wonder why it crashed the first time. I don't know. Anyway, you want to go to your toolbox. You want to go to my models. You might have to refresh it, like go on my plugins, then go back on my models again. And as you can see, in-game item buyer, it finally popped up. So let's click on it. It's going to say, would you like to add it? You need to click on OK. Then guys, you actually want to drag and drop this into your starter GUI. And as you can see, it now pops up just like this. So next guys, we need to click on file. We need to scroll down and we need to click on game settings. From here guys you need to click on security. So the option you want to turn on in here is allow third party sales. If you don't turn that on it won't work. So once you've got that turned on guys you want to click on save. It's then going to close and yeah you're pretty much done. Oh by the way if you guys are struggling to find your toolbox or explorer or anything you can actually find that under the view tab. So if I just close them off I can show you guys what I mean. So yeah you'd click on toolbox and explorer and that's how you find them. They should pop up for you anyway though. And um yeah I think that's basically it. So let's publish our game again. You want to go on file. You want to do publish to Roblox. It's going to save it. It's going to update. It's going to save the new changes and we should be good to go. So we can actually close out of this. So now guys in theory it should be working. Let's go and find a random accessory to try this on. Since it's October now I guess we can try it on Vlad the Impaler XIII. 300 Robux. A pretty stupid item but it is kind of expensive. So this is definitely a good test. You want to go to the ID of the item at the top you want to highlight it and do Control c on your keyboard for copy or you can do right click copy it's up to you you can go to the create tab then go to group creations find your group so we need to change it to shark blocks roblox there you go now we should be able to click on the start place and it should actually bring us to the game so once we play this guys we can basically see if it works let's go and join a server i could put it public as well i guess on the game guys it's going to pop up just like this you want to click on the box do Control v to enter the accessory id then click on buy. It's going to say would you like to buy it for 300 Robux? Let's go and buy it. We now own the item so the accessory will go onto our account and we should also get a refund. I guess we can check the group transactions tab. So guys for the moment of truth we're on our group. Let's click on the three dots. Let's go into configure group then wait for it to load. Go on to revenue summary and yes it worked pending Robux. Now honestly guys waiting for this Robux it could take like five days or something which is a bit annoying but I can tell you 40% of 300 is in fact 120. Yes, that's correct. So it worked. We got 40% back on that accessory. That is awesome. So this was the old script item buyer, which I made a video on ages ago. Now this one was kind of interesting because it gave us all of the IDs for bundles and stuff like that. I want to show you guys. Yeah, if I remember correctly, when you clicked on the help box, it would tell you all the bundle IDs. Oh, and animations as well. So look at that bundle. Sparkle time bundle, Wanwood bundle, Blue Steel bundle. Headless Horseman, that's a good one for Halloween. Crowblocks Death Speaker. This one had an interesting note. It said older animation packs and packages can be purchased with old asset IDs. Some of the most popular bundles and animation pack item IDs are provided on this screen for your convenience. UGC creators are allowed to disable commissions from their in-game purchases. Oh, that's true. Some UGC items might not work. It depends if the UGC owner is nice or not. But yeah, if you guys need any of the IDs for bundles, you can take a screenshot or write some of these down and yeah you can basically try them. Very quickly guys I'm actually going to link this down below in the video's description. Shout out to Kawaii Kiwi I think for saving these old avatar slash character IDs back in 2016. Yeah I found that this person saved the load on like a really old Wattpad website thing so basically I just added them into a paste bin and I also added some of the newer ones like the Headless Horseman and yeah I'll link this down below if you guys need some of these bundles but the new ID is showing well this is how you find the old ID and 
this is how you buy them. It works as well. Let's try one. Let's try a random bundle. Let's press on enter. Oh, I think I was supposed to click buy actually. There you go. Would you like to buy the nightmare bundle for 750? Not right now, but you guys get the idea. It works on 2D clothing as well. I think I forgot to mention that. There you go. You can buy a night shirt. I'm actually not going to buy it, but yeah, you can see. I believe it also works with some lead clothing, not all of them. Oh, so it works with the ghost lead clothing. That's pretty cool. I know some lead clothing creators didn't let you do this, but some of them do, which is very nice. And I just want to show you guys that this does not work with limited. So as you can see, if you try and buy a limited item, because limited items are sold by individual people. But yeah, that's literally it, guys. Of course, make your own game under your own Roblox group, and you can get 40% off pretty much all Roblox items. Well, except limiteds and game passes for now. Oh, and very quickly, I just want to say, if you're going to your create page and it brings you to the brand new Roblox creator tab, you can also do it on this if you want to. It's basically the same thing. It's just a bit more confusing. Not gonna lie, I don't really like this. I prefer the classic version. But yeah, that's basically it. All links will be down below in this video's description. If this video was helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, turn notifications on, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.